guys. Once again, we have another unboxing haul. And I did, and I decided to start this series from last ep from I think I just made another series because I think I think I want to start the series. It's called the unboxing haul series. How this works is whenever I get an unboxing haul, I review it. This is gonna be starting from the last video, which is the unboxing haul for my guys back in day one. And speaking of which, I told you guys that video that I would show you winning box with the sticker, so here it is. Wow! All sticker, all stickerized up. I don't know if that's a word, but here it is. All stickered up. Okay. That. So, anyways. All, all this is all from my from Canada. Oh, wait. And when it comes to this, my... I actually found this in... I actually found this upstairs. This is my Star Wars The Force Awakens High Fighter Pilot figurine. But when it comes to this, I'm I'm not quite sure if this is from my Nino Man or Nino Sharon. But anyways, thanks to, thanks to both of them because my Nino Sharon actually gave me... Monopoly Star Wars and Lego Star Wars, but unfortunately I won't be able to review those because I have already played them. <laughs> I have already used them for a long time for like a long time now, but thanks to thanks to both of them anyways. So let's get started. Let's get started with these two because I think these are the smallest of cars. My in this haul, so these are these are the 1955 Ford Crown Victorious. Actually, actually, the year kind of gives me Back to the Future vibes. I don't know why, but I think I know why now because actually, I would say some spoiler for the movie. So if you haven't seen Back to the Future yet, skip to this timestamp right here, up, right here above. And if you, if you already have watched it, well, don't skip to the timestamp. That's obvious, but uh, I don't know. So in the movie Back to the Future, I think it's my movie, not Nate Skid or Nate Skid, but in the movie, Marty McFly, the main character, goes to goes back to 1955 accidentally. Think I don't know. Forgot the movie, but. Coincidentally, these cars right here, not from the movie though, not from the movie. The cars that I got right here are from 1955. This is, 19, this is the, a 1955 year model, not from 1955. I can't explain, I don't know why. But <laughs> these models are the 1955 versions of the cars because I guess they're kind of, they're kind of victorious. But here are the 19th device. I have two of those. I have two of these. I have one. This is the first one is normal Crown Pick. The red version. Fascinating card because it has half the wheel and the thing right here. And this version is the Rhodes version. These are these are fun to hold them. Not gonna lie. To be honest, these are really fun to hold. So, I don't know what the brand is for the scars, but these are 134 scales. So, let's start off with the red normal Crown Victoria. So, here's the front. Kind of reminds me of the 19... Oh, what? Wait, it kind of reminds me of the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. Look at that. These cars, I don't know why, but these cars have these kinds of real girls. And this look, it's an iconic look for like 50 cars. Kind of looks like a Chevy, but not. It's not. It's a Ford. So, starting off with the engine. En <laughs> engine. Engine. What? Why? Why is this is just the engine? This is like literally the engine. That's all. That's all. That's for the engine. It's so small. 
but yeah. Actually, not just this. Both of them had the same enemies. Obviously, they're both from Victoria's, but why? Why is it so small? Okay, moving on, we have the opening, the opening doors, obviously. It's, it's no fun, no opening doors. <laughs> So here, are, here is the interior. There are seats in the back, if you can see that. There are seats in the back. And here's the interior itself. Yeah, cut. it's a normal interior for like 50 scars. But, I feel unsatisfied with this. Because I'm kind of, I am, I'm used to seeing my stove interiors, which are, yes, detailed. But when it comes to like this, when it comes to this, kind of feels simple. Like simple design, okay. I use simplicity. I do kind of like the the bright colored bright colored seats. Not that but. And what's not interesting to me is the oh no, this art. This is I guess translucent green or for you transparent. And white, green and white. That's so cool. Like, no, so cool. <laughs> I feel like this is the first version of the sunroof. Okay, here's the back. Unfortunately, it's not an opening back. Too sad. Too bad. And here it is. I don't know what it says in the back, but if I were to guess, what's Written in the back, I guess it's gonna be for the matic. For the matic is what I guess, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it means, what it is, but I got if I were to guess it's for the matic. And the place here says 1955. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 1955. See? So here here's the underview. It's like basic embedded. Under uh, the engine from below, so you see very much. And here it is. I guess you're kind of waiting for this. This is the rooster version with a dark olive green. Right now. Yeah, but it's still it's, it's still type of green. Well, I did show you the engine. It's the same as the red one. Right here it doesn't have the. Roof, obviously, because it's a roadster, or maybe you can just like break this up right there. But it, the the feature doesn't work here, so you can see the interior very clearly. Not doesn't have to open the door for you, but still, still an opening door feature. There's it's, it has the same interior, obviously, because it's the same. It's still the Grand Victoria, and you can see there's the seats in the back you can see that you could or if you're crooked you don't have to open the door you just hop in from <laughs> here and possibly dent your friend's car you don't, you don't want to do that right now in this this hey you gotta pay for that bro you gotta pay for that i just fixed that okay Moving on, you have here the back. So it is kind of different because it is the roadster version. But it's still the same right here. Or maybe it's, it says Fordmatic right here, Fordmatic. But, anyways, the plates still, still says 1955, both same from the normal version. This thing, uh, I, I guess it says Fordmatic. Yeah, I think so. And what I don't know in the trees here right now is the front here. This is like is this like a plane or a bird something? Or the symbols right here. Fascinating. That's not. Okay, so moving on okay, let's see here's the interview. Moving on, we have another for you. The Finally we're moving on to my store stuff. This is a a 125 scale of the Ford Thunderbird 
2002. Wow! This is so legit. Look at that. Guns in my favorite car, bros. Sky Blue! Or maybe Teals or Oya? I don't know. <laughs> but, anyways, this type of blue is what is my all time favorite blue. Wait, oh. Okay, here it is. I have seen a YouTube video where the YouTuber itself gives his mom this car right here. Like, this exact car. I don't know if it's the same car though, but this car. And what I like about this car is not only it's blue car, it's like mo like modern look for a 2002 car. Look at, look at the rims. Look at that. That's some cool, cool rims. You see, I didn't see that. They put to some cars, but I was going to put them. But here you are. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's like the hood school. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it feels so cool. Man. Look at that. It has a feature to really help open the hood. That's nice. Look at that. That's the front view. Oh, oh, oh. You can see from the other way. I'm gonna rise by this car because it's just in the streets. Okay. You have here the V8 engine. Wow! Cool engine because actually a V8 is kind of a fast engine for like cars. So if you read comments, it says V8. It has a V8. Mm. <laughs> you might say, they might see that their car is fast. But. For me, my my favorite one of my favorite types of engines is the beast the W16 from the Bugatti, but I think this is a little bit too dangerous. Yeah, there's the V8 engine. Surprise! Yeah, I think this is a sports coupe with like it's in the back. But here it is. There's the engine for the 2004 Thunderbird. This V8 engine of the V. So cool, cool. good engine, good engine. So, here's the side view. I'm gonna open up the doors. So, as we expect, expect the Maestro interiors are detailed. Like, detailed right here. They even did the thing. They, did, they even did the thing for like the inside, like two tone interiors. Plus, it comes in, in like the best combination ever. Uh, light tint of blue and black. Goodness. For me, for just my opinion though, it, that combination looks cool. Even in the steering wheel, even in the steering wheel, they did it. They did it nice. Look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. Here's the other side. Well, I guess you can't take the roof off. I don't want to break the car. But comment down below if you can take it off. There are seats in the back. As I said, there are seats in the back. Look at that, there are seats here, you can see that. And unfortunately, the back does not open. But I can't tell what it says on the plate. It says Thunderbird on cursive font. Full oh, cursive font. Here's the underview, which I think is pretty com complex. I like that. I like that. So overall, here is the 2002 Ford Thunderbird from my side. So here it, here is the one of my box cars. So I want to open. Actually, this thing has been opened previously. Not on any videos, but this thing has been opened so far. I'll still review it to, to you. I don't mind if it's already open or not. I still want to review it because I think I want to compare it with my car, the 2006 Dodge Challenger RT. But I'll be right back. I'll go ahead and get the car. Okay, here it is. As you remember in my first video, the first review video that I did, this is the car that I reviewed. So. Though it is the same, just different in size, but there are some differences that you can see in the car. So, its similar, it, the similarities are the hood design, they still both have that key thing. 
they're the engineers boats Hemi 6.1. They're both SRT8. And the most iconic thing, the bag. Look at the tail lights. The, the tail light. It's the, the iconic thing for challengers of this of the this generation game. Because all gen all modern challengers have these. Headlights. I am not sure for the older ones, 1970, 80, yeah. but anyways, here, here it is. This one is modified, pro rods custom modified, and this thing is stock. So, here it is, this is the engine. The only, I, for me, my opinion is, there is one slight difference in the engine, because in 2006, you can see there's like this thing right here. In 2008, you don't see it. Like, so it is like the same engine, but there's no like the red thing or the thing. It, it, one of the major differences is the roof. The 2008, the 2008 has a sunroof. The, the 2006 does not. Well, I don't know if I can open up the trunk, but I wouldn't this time because I won't because I don't want to break my car. This is normal. It's my soul special edition. And the rims! Kinda interesting. Kinda, kinda reminds me of the Camaro ones. So, anyway, here it is. Ooh! Okay! The doors? So here it is. Oh, the wheel does not sink in with the wheel turns. It's kind of frozen there, but I like the steering wheel, and it's it's modern. Look at that here. So here's the interior. That's that's one of the good good things about bicycle cars. Detailed interiors. They even put the Challenger thing right here. I don't know if you can see that, but. They put it right there. Look at that, they even did the gear shift. The gear stick, I, I mean, I don't know. But that's so cool. It even had seats in the back, like the Crown Vic, the Thunderbird. They all have seats in the back. Even, even the Challenger, I don't know if you see it because this thing's not roast. But yeah, that's the these. These are the only open features. I don't know, maybe the back opens. I don't want to break my car, so. I don't know how it opens, but here it is the Dodge Challenger 2008. Oh, I forgot to mention the other difference is the grill. The 2006 grill has the little cross thing, the 2008 does not. I could face it though. So. Let's move on to this bad boy. I really want to open this, but temptation is only temptations. But I don't think I can really open it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this real quick. Just pick up the tape. That's all. And not as much the character told me when a Valkyrie did this. Dang, that was a lot. And I need a lot of tape. <laughs> I can feel that off on camera. It took like, I don't know, one to three minutes, I think. And then that had a lot of tape. This tape, this tape doesn't want to come off. Come on. <laughs> this tape doesn't want to come off. Oh man. Oh no, I. Oh man. Oh, okay. I can't believe. Tape situations. They're sometimes the worst. Well, sometimes they are because for gifts, you know, suspense. But for this, this is different. It has a lot of tape. I don't know why. 
So anyways, I'm just gonna calm down and just this deep. One little bit comes off and still have the entire thing to peel off. And don't tell me you don't get annoyed about that. Sometimes people get annoyed by that. Oh nuts. Oh, I guess it I guess this is good. Oh, finally! <laughs> Bye-bye.